to the Under Radar channel, URC on YouTube. I'm your main host um, right now. I'm saying tonight because it's tonight for me right here. Um, wherever you are, what time it is. But you get it, point right now. It's the host. Main host. I'm the main host tonight, right now. Okay, and um, I'm Brian's dad's young Canadian YouTuber, musician, TikToker, lookalike Shane. Okay, and we're gonna have um, um, Megan, the creative girl, girl's uh, dad's YouTuber, uh, dad's YouTuber, lookalike um, Blake's um, female lookalike, my ex girlfriend. Beth's young aunt Wendy lookalike, Scott's young female lookalike, my ex girlfriend uh, Natasha's um, uncle Dan's YouTuber lookalike, Jared talk, all right? That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get down to, uh, I don't wanna say, I'll just say down to dirty, but in a good way, all right? In this video, it's gonna be action packed, okay? So let's have him, when I say him, I'm referring to who I just mentioned. Let's let him lead anyone into prayer to get spiritually saved, all right? Let him take it away. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, I'm going to ask you to follow me in a short prayer right now. This is not some magical saying or anything like that. It can be in multiple different versions. Look at the thief on the cross who's next to Jesus. He said, we deserve this right now. And he asked Jesus, you know, if you remember me uh, when you, you, you go into paradise, he's like, Today you'll be with me in paradise. He accepted him right then, okay? It's not some magical saying. So we're just going to go through a short prayer here, and I'm going to ask you to follow me if you've never done this before. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for my sins and rose again. I believe you're your son of God. I ask you to come into my heart now and save me. I choose to follow you the rest of my life and all the days of my life. I ask you to write my name in the book of life and to not forget me when you come back and take us home to be with you, and that I'd be made, counted worthy to escape this tribulation, these trials that come upon the earth. I want to follow you, and I thank you for this incredible gift and coming into my heart and saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you said that prayer, congratulations. You're now a Christian. You're part of a family that's going to last eternity. It is going to be more awesome than you can possibly imagine. It's going to be incredible. You're going to see things you never knew. Congratulations, all right? Um, Find a Bible. I'd start reading in the New Testament. Don't miss, don't miss out on anything. Just read the whole thing, all right? You're going to learn more and stuff like that. Find a, a group that you can talk to about this stuff and uh, watch Christian videos, okay? You have YouTube and other things like that that can help you out. And then welcome to the family, okay? All right. So I'm going to say a few things. And then uh, I'll, the rest of the video, I'll let him do it, uh, him talk, all right? So first off, for like first, um, the comments are gonna be able to be you'll you'll be able to comment now because I figured out why comments weren't allowed or able to you know whatever you know be um available. So you know, luckily I, luckily and thankfully I figured it out. So now y'all could, could comment if you want. At least on this video, I'll, I'll, I'll um, we'll try um, I'm gonna I'll I'll personally try to make all the other videos. You know, take my time, see if I can. And you know, make those uh, able to comment. You know, y'all to comment. So, um, the last video, the one video I did talk about the rapture, the recent one. Um, I didn't. I apologize. I didn't go into detail about that off grid desert farming like video. Just check that video. Video out. I personally was on the past one here on this channel, YouTube channel, and video I, I showed y'all the thumbnail. A shout out to special. Uh, here's a YouTube shout out again to. Off grid as a farm with Pawn Adrian. So I guess there's some sort of speculated alien invasion sometime this year, next year, some. It could happen, y'all. It's definitely plausible, in my opinion. Uh, and I, he was talking like, I guess like maybe World War like three or some sort of things that play off people from deaths. I'm just pair like just think like I it's I haven't watched that video. Obviously, I mean, I've watched it multiple times because I'm fascinated by it. But I, I, apparently, look. This is general look, people. I mean, because people can blame the war thing on this, and you know, this is going around, it's dangerous. All right, you know, the medicine, okay? I feel convicted that 
it's definitely dangerous. So recently I discovered a new YouTuber. It's like Anthony Williams, Street Preacher, or something like that. I mean, he's a pretty cool guy. Um, I type in Anthony Williams, appreciate that's the guy. And like Anthony D. Williams or some street pre preacher or something like that. And uh, anyways, he, uh, it's interesting because I might lean, I think the preacher of rapture might be legit. Because it, it's funny because it's maybe it was meant to be that I discovered him. You know what? He's a fun YouTube uh, fact. He's my third favorite YouTuber. Now, um, that's who my favorite, third favorite YouTuber is. Um, so anyways, um, discovered him. <laughs> Just recently, some, uh, you know, so, um, recently, uh, and, and uh, so he thinks it's the mark of the beast, you know, but I mean, it's, you can repent from it because we can repent from it because we're in the age of grace and he believes in the preacher of rapture and he said, don't feel convicted of it, you know, you can feel convicted of it and that, like, or whatever, he does, I remember him saying something like that, and that's interesting, and you know what my mom said, um, something about, um, uh, well, she remember she uh, asked if I had a left. She could borrow the left behind, maybe, and I'm pretty sure I have all three. I, what I mean is like left behind one, two, and then like the new new one. But there's a third, like a third one before that. The the war world war thing or review version uh thing of left behind. But anyways, she, I guess she accidentally left this in a bag, and I she might have got this for herself. But this is interesting. So is God trying to tell me, hey, and tell everyone else it is a preacher rapture? And the third one before the newest, newest one left behind it is called Ward at War. That's what it is. Left in Ward at War. So, yeah, interesting things, y'all. And that's interesting, too, because what does God saying something like Ward at War? So, what if the World War Three happens during a tribulation then? All right. So, um, interesting stuff, y'all. Um, so, I know I said about, we got to talk about different topics, but topics or whatever, you know, start with in the last recent video. Y'all, we have to, like, this is so crazy. Hey, if there's a preacher rapture, that means then the world the, that means a rapture in in general would have to happen sooner. The idea at the end would have to happen faster, because I personally lean towards, uh, and him he leaned towards. Um, you know what I'm talking about, right? In this video, he uh, he believes in seven year tribulation too. All right, and um, he believes in the preacher rapture. So, I man, the preacher rapture is legit, and obviously I'm convicted of a seven year tribulation no matter what. Okay. That being said, see you later, alligator. Peace, y'all. This is exciting stuff, y'all. Let him take the rest of the video away. Bye. Oh, before he does take it away, let him explain how you have to, because I, how I feel convicted, you have to repent after, you know, after you get saved. You know, um, let him explain. Show, uh, like, a, you know, a, like a graph where you call it, you know, where he'll talk a few words and and you get might oh I'll have to pause it to read the whole thing but um yeah so uh um yeah so okay bye and the one saved always saved column here at the very top we have sending is funny you look <clears throat> for ways to do more of it all right if you're living this lifestyle uh that's not good all right and uh there's a chance that you're not saved all right. Okay, next one. You get and you teach others to do it with you. All right. Parentheses, evil loves company. Just like bad trouble and everything else, you don't want to do it alone because there's a conviction inside somewhere down deep in there and you don't want to be caught in this. And you feel if you can get a big enough group, a wide enough path of people doing the same thing as you, you won't be looked on and when you stand before God, you'll be able to get away with it because so many people did it. Don't think that it's going to bend the world to... Uh, to you, all right? He made his rules and you have to follow him. Let's go to the next one here. You feel no Holy Spirit conviction when you sin and there doesn't seem to be any punishment. We have the one safe, lukewarm, I don't care about sin. Uh, repentance, on fire for God. You do care about your sin and it bothers you. All right, it's the widest road. It makes up the mass majority of those claiming to be Christians. Remember the phrase, uh, wide is the path that leads to destruction and narrow is the path that leads to uh, God, you know? Now, we're going to work our way through the different tribulation ideas, uh, post-tribulation, mid-tribulation, and pre-tribulation. As you guys know, I'm a pre-tribulation believer, but uh, so uh, let's get started. All right, Revelations 3.10, since you have kept my command to endure patiently, 
I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come on the whole earth to test the inhabitants of the earth. All right. This is talking about the tribulation. That hour of trial is coming on the earth. He's talking about the tribulation. The seven-year tribulation is going to be taking place. All right. In Revelations, uh, when John's writing this, Jesus is telling him, "Because you have kept my command and endured patiently, I'm going to keep you from that hour. We're uh, we're his bride." And uh, we're not appointed to wrath, the tribulation. And uh, because, of this, because of this, he's going to be taking us out of the way, okay? All right. During a post-tribulation uh, rapture idea, Jesus comes back at the second coming. And uh, while he's in the clouds, <clears throat> those who are dead get caught up to be with him. And, uh, and Christians that are alive get caught up to be with him at the same time. And then they ride into battle, into Armageddon. Uh, there are some things that have to be completely left out. The Bema Seat Judgment that is spoken of in the Bible that Paul refers to, Bema, uh, talking about a, a judgment uh, seat like a, a Greek or whatever that has to do with an award ceremony that uh, we get tried in heaven and, uh, and what we've done is uh, rewarded for, uh, for what we've done here on earth, okay? Uh, this has to take place, the wedding supper, or marriage supper of the Lamb. We have a wedding feast that takes place in heaven and things. Um, none of this is none of this is taking place. You're instantly with Jesus, and you're riding into battle into the second coming. And uh, <laughs> once you're there, it sets up the thousand-year reign. We rule reign with Him on the earth, and then at the end of that, God comes down and makes His earth with heaven. So uh, there's lots that's messed out mansions and heaven and things like that. I've been against the post-tribulation uh, rapture for a very long time. I think it's uh, I think it's ridiculous. All right now, mid-trib. When people start talking about that, it's okay. It's like, all right, well, you know, you're, you're looking at this from another point of view. They realize the post-tribulation doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's a mid-tribulation idea. All right, here's the point. For this post-tribulation idea, they know exactly when he's coming back. After the second half, it is perfectly clear when the abomination of desolation happens inside the temple, you have 1,290 days to the day. This says right here, according to Jesus, you don't, you don't know any time when it's going to happen, all right? Well, we know perfectly well when that happens because people are going to be looking for it and expecting it. And the Jews are going to be like, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. He's going to burst open the sky and we're going to be riding with him, okay? That's going to be radical, okay? I really hope this video has helped a lot of people. 